Welcome back. In the last video, we have learned how to send the data in a flash mode. And if you haven't watched it yet, the link is here. I suggest that to watch it first and then come to this video. In, the, in this video, I'm going to show you how to read or erase the data flash from flash memory. So the first step is to unlock the flash. First step is to erase the sector. Here, the first parameter you should select the sector minus six because I store my data in a sector 6 my starting address was this one a voltage range let's see what that is we go to the correction it says when the device voltage range is this one to this one you should use voltage range 4 mine is 3 so let's choose 3 and let's go to decoration here is the 3 and that's it and now we should lock it Data is already written in the flash mode, so I don't need to scout. Uh, let's build it. And my flash is occupied with data, which is 13. And by this piece of code, I should remove that data. So let me see if it's working or not. I load it. to the box section here we should go to memory let me remove this this is my address and as you can see in this address we don't have any data which means we have already eliminated any data which was existed in this address yeah, all right let's get back now i want to show you how to read the data from any address so imagine we have uh, several data And we call it data, we have four. One, two, three, and four. And I want to read them, so I need to read data because I'm going to read 8 data this should be 8 as well and I need a variable alright and I don't use the it is Okay, my data would be data i. Here I need a 4. i equal to 0. 
i less than equal equal three because i'm going to read it three times then i plus plus here i should increment the address And now I should read that and unlock it. Lock it. Here, read data, which is I equal to pointer. I.O. Unit. Another pointer. I need this for. I will explain all of them, so don't worry. I have syntax error, let me check it. These should be Okay, at first I I created the address. In the last video I explained how to get your address and I changed the address. This is not the address that I used in the last video because I'm going to save my data in a new address. And then I provided for data. After that I created a variable which is read data in order to read these four data then i created a variable another variable which i can create a for loop and at first i unlock the flash memory and send my data into the flash memory and by this for loop i send my data four times then i lock it and after that, I unlock the flash mode again in order to read the data. After I read it, I store it in read data. And remember that in order to read the data, you should provide the address. So I'm going to read the data from this address. So this should be here. Let's build it again. No errors, no warning. Uh, let's load it. Go to the back section. Go to live expression. This is my read data. This is my for data. 
So when you run the program, you should see the data. And as you can see, the value are here, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That means we have stored the data successfully and we can read it from that place. And as you can see, working with flash memory is very easy and straightforward. And if you have any questions, you can write them down in the comment section below. And I will provide an answer ASAP. Thank you for watching. Bye.